Fahrenheit opened at Hershey Park back in 2008 as the world's steepest roller coaster. And in my opinion, it is one of the most underrated roller coasters I've ever ridden. In fact, in the park, I rank this higher than both Candemonium and Storm Runner, as well as Great Bear, making it my third favorite roller coaster at Hershey Park. And today, I'm going to go into my in-depth review of Fahrenheit. As I said before, Fahrenheit opened all the way back in 2008. And for a while, this was the only vertical lift coaster made by Intamin until just a couple years ago when one opened up in China. Fahrenheit sports a 97 degree drop with six inversions, and it runs very similar to an Intamin Blitz coaster. When you start your experience on Fahrenheit, you take a long drawn out right turn out of the station and into a 90 degree lift hill. This vertical lift hill brings you up 121 feet before dropping you at a 97 degree angle, and at the time, Fahrenheit was the steepest roller coaster in the world. At the base of the first drop is where Fahrenheit will reach its top speed of 58 miles per hour, and then it rises into the only Norwegian loop in the United States. Basically, this inversion is an Immelman and a dive loop combined into one element. You go into the dive loop first and then into the Immelman. It is a very unique experience and very fun. After this, Fahrenheit zooms into the Cobra Roll, which in my opinion is one of the most forceful Cobra Rolls I've experienced. Most Cobra Rolls are pretty forceless and boring, but this one has some nice whip to it, as well as that slight Intamin rattle, making it one of my favorite Cobra Rolls out there. Most of Fahrenheit is glass smooth, except for this Cobra Roll, which has a bit of a rattle to it, but it's nothing to cause a headache or to cause serious pain. It is pretty much just a very slight rattle. The final two inversions on the ride are two rapid fire corkscrews, which are very fun to experience. I'm personally not much of a fan of corkscrews, but these corkscrews are very fun. Then Fahrenheit goes into an overbank turn, which by the way has a ridiculous head chopper, before going into an amazing ejector airtime hill into a left hand turn and then into the brakes. And that is the layout of Fahrenheit. But the reason I like Fahrenheit so much is because of how unique it is, the varying forces, the great inversions, the amazing pacing, and the surprise airtime moments. I feel like while this ride is short, it has a lot more variety than Great Bear and Storm Runner do in their layouts, and it feels like a much more complete ride than Storm Runner. The drop in the back row is very fun, but in the front you get the full feeling that you're going 97 degrees. The Norwegian Loop has an amazing floater at the top of the inversion before diving down into the second half of it. Even though all of Fahrenheit's inversions are back to back, it honestly doesn't feel like it. And the ride as a whole feels so complete, even with most of the ride just being made up of inversions. If you think about it, Fahrenheit's two sets of inversions are pretty much the same, with the Cobra Roll having a dive up and out and then diving down again, same with the Norwegian Loop, but they are different enough to make them feel like completely different experiences. Also, Fahrenheit's pacing is impeccable, some of the best on any roller coaster I have experienced. It feels as if it keeps its 58 miles per hour the entire ride. But one thing I have to bring up while talking about Fahrenheit are the lines. The lines for this can get very long. This is because of the fact that Hershey Park usually runs 2 out of 3 trains on Fahrenheit and each train only holds 12 riders. So this ride is very low capacity and if you go on a very crowded day, I would suggest riding Laugh Track first and then coming back to this. While Fahrenheit is a very great ride, I do not think it is worth an over 2 hour wait. Especially when a lot of other rides in the park like Wildcats Revenge, Sky Rush, and Candemonium have a lot better capacity and the lines will move a lot quicker. And that is pretty much the only negative thing I have to say about this ride. Everything else is amazing. The colors, the layout, the pacing, everything. Hershey Park and Intamin did an amazing job when designing this coaster. Fahrenheit is so underrated, and I love this ride, and I will always love it. Now let me know in the comments what you think of Fahrenheit and where it ranks in your Hershey Park lineup. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.